Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with J Custom Builds. Man, it's Tuesday today and it's like 95 degrees out here right now. It's like, uh, what time is it? I don't know, it's like a little after 3 p.m. Anyways, I, uh, I made a video um, riding that beautiful girl right there last Wednesday. And I don't know what the deal is with my helmet and my uh, mic. I don't know what the deal is. It is just so annoying. I never had that problem or is bad when I had my old helmet. Even when I had the new helmet, I believe I, I don't know what happened. I ended up severing my uh, mic cable and I ended up, this is the third one I've had. And for whatever reason, it's getting, I got the little cat paws on there and I just keep getting a lot of wind noise. And so I took the bike out last Wednesday. Sucks living next to a port, airport when you're trying to do this. But I took the bike out last Wednesday and the bike ran really good. So far, I had to come home and readjust the clutch. I tightened up all the mirrors. I ended up um, wiping it down a little bit better. What else have I done to it? I just tightened up some of the stuff that was going on with the bike. But anyways, I just wanted to uh, share that the video doesn't sound all that great because of the wind noise. It's a short ride. I did a little bit of exercises as far as testing the brakes and stuff and seeing how the bike handled in the Southland parking lot here in Hayward. And so let's show you, let's get into this video. All right, guys, I'm just going to take it up and down the block really quick so I can see how it feels.
So everything feels good. The engine just feels a little, feels a little clunky. It's just burning oil off the oil that it already had on it. And I feel like the uh, inner clutch needs a little bit of adjusting, a little more adjusting. But uh, the follow-away feels great. Um, it feels pretty good overall. I need to, I need to try to bleed that rear brake again a little bit better. The front brake is grabbing great, but the rear brake is uh, not grabbing so much. So it feels pretty good. It may, it may need some minor adjusting, but uh, I'm gonna go fill up his tank really quick and just cruise it around for a little bit and, uh, and see how it feels. So, I'm gonna go get some gas on this girl and see how she, see how she feels. Clutch feels okay. The front brake feels great. Not so much the back brake. <clears throat> so, This is my first uh, soft tail that I've ridden, guys. I gotta tighten up the mirrors. I didn't tighten that one up. Yeah, I didn't tighten that one up, which sucks. So, uh, I'm going to uh, just take this girl for a spin and see how she feels. I'm talking, you know, um, bearings, I'm talking uh, the rotors, I'm talking the brakes are functioning, they're not spongy. You know, make sure you got your headlight working. Make sure that your, everything feels like the bike feels like it's traveling in a, in a, in a straight line. 
make sure after the bars make sure you don't want your bar slipping or moving on you make sure all your controls are tight you don't want your handle flying off you know like this good example i tightened up that mirror on the left but i didn't tighten this one up here um down here you know you have to you know all this is all for a reason right and i didn't put the uh cover on uh the stem bolt there because i wanted to know how the the uh the steering was going to handle if it felt a little too loose i'd probably go a little bit tighter on it if, if it felt too tight i'd loosen it up probably a, a hair eighth of an inch you know and you know you want to make sure that you're not leaking oil anywhere you know everything looks everything looks pretty good so far so i'm going to uh put some gas in this girl for my uh my brother-in-law because it did it did have a full tank not not quite a full tank man that paint is it sure is pretty huh so i got these bars on ebay right and they're kind of uh they're straight you know the bag's going to be over the the rack there the saddle rack there but you know it's uh it's uh you know i mean they're not perfect you know they probably cost maybe a hundred and between 120 150 dollars for each bracket maybe 200 at harley i got them both for 70 bucks on ebay guy gave me a really good deal um you know i got the new rubbers on here i just got to go get a, a deep socket so i can tighten that up i don't know where mine's at you know i got to put all my tools away but this girl sure does look beautiful doesn't she she looks amazing How's it going? Good, good. I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put uh, premium in here because I know that's what he puts. Oh, shit. Pour a little bit of gas on his butt. happens guys just they always have these little uh these little uh towels here at uh, chevron and uh, just get that little bit of that stuff that they use like the windex and uh and put it on there so let's see here don't want to inside Take this girl out. Let's see how she feels. All right. I don't know why these 103s tend to have some like something going on. And uh, I got to reset the ABS light and the engine light. The engine light staying on for whatever reason. I gotta reset that stuff it's because I had plugged everything back up and it was just I didn't have everything connected. So.
that down there. But man, the bike, the bike sounds great and it runs amazing. You know, uh, Blue, now that I've ridden Blue the last time, I took it out for a ride, I believe on Saturday. We went 100 miles uh, deep into San Jose and uh, came back through the other side of the bay, 280 all the way to into uh, San Mateo. Took 92 back over the bridge. It was a little over 100 miles. And that bike uh, gets missing. Um,
So I just took this beautiful girl out for a ride, man. And uh, she ran amazing. I'm so, so pleased with her. You know, no oil leaks, just minor stuff uh, I need to repair. Just, just minor, minor things. But uh, I'm so happy with it. You know, the brakes, um, the cables, just everything. Everything is just operating just perfectly. I mean, it, the balance on the bike is amazing. The All the lights are working. I got some new these guys for them. That one's old. I just wanted to have the seat balanced when I went for a ride. I don't want the seat loose. I just wanted to test it today and see how she ran. And she passed the test with flying colors. And I'm very, very happy. You know, all the linkage stuff is here today. The brackets came in. Well, the linkage isn't. I got the linkage itself. But the actual link... The bracket, this guy here is worn. I already shared that with you guys. The only thing that I'm gonna leave on here is gonna be that guy right there. Everything else is getting replaced. Um, I gotta do a, just a minor clutch adjustment. The throttle and the, the idle cables are perfect. I gotta tighten the right mirror, change those on the seat, put the brackets back on there, do a little touch up on the black, like I promised my brother back there. You know, just little tiny things. These guys came, they're straight. And so I just got to do some tidying up with this girl. And, uh, but man, she came out great. I love the paint. That paint looks beautiful, doesn't it? Look at that. And it's not even wiped down. It's been sitting for a long time. I got to go over everything. Got to still will this clean up that, put the new tags on it. And uh, yeah, deliver it to my brother. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm very excited. It came out amazing. Hey guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. If you guys are interested in winning a bike, you can head over to my website, jcustombuilds.com. Buy yourself a hat, buy yourself a t-shirt. $15 of that money is going to Tunnels to Towers to support all of our disabled veterans, our Gold Star veterans and first responders. They're doing some amazing things. Uh, Tunnels to Tower, you can go to t2t.org and you can check that out. It's a short video. It's amazing. You got some really cool celebrities, some patriots supporting it as well. And so I thought I'd get in on that action because there's a lot of veterans in my family. And so we're, uh, you know, we're just supporting our country, man. Veterans before anybody. You guys always remember to ride safe, take care in everything you do. And God bless on this beautiful Wednesday.